checklist to notify you that we are going to be having our annual meeting on March Actually, in the future, which we have not done to this point, but we had a supervisor's meeting, and again, we spoke with the um, Secretary of State's office, and they have advised us that we can actually code people in the district so that you don't have to maintain the list separate, separate from ours. Right. And, but we don't have that right now. We will be coding them next year, uh, for next year's meeting. Okay, I can get a comma-separated values checklist and then just add a column, and then all the streets, people who live on specific streets, will, we can add a column that says D, which that way you don't have to go back and forth between street addresses, mm -hmm. and because there are exceptions, like some people on Portland Avenue do have water and are in the district, and some aren't. So it can be a bit confusing. And then we can cross-reference it with our billing data. But that we can work out. What time is the meeting? The meeting tentatively is scheduled for 6.30 on March 17th in the room next door. As soon as I get confirmation from the facilities folks here. The Riverview room. Nice place, by the way. You really fit in there. Thank you for letting us know. We appreciate it. Letting about. Okay.
you have copies of all the relevant um, invoices? Do you have all the copies of the relevant? I have somebody, if not all of them, but I'd like to have a copy of the uh, invoice of any passage. If, if you put a check mark somewhere on it, I intend to. I'll okay, to, so that Heather down. will make copies for you. That's why I stuck right into the side. Okay.
Max Marsh is what? You have them all in health and health, correct? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, if that's acceptable to you, this is the check manifest. This is the payable manifest. If you agree that, that is, those are good and proper debts, they go up through the You must sign it at clock. That becomes our manifest. Send it as an attachment if you wish. Yes, all day. When you retire, the time means nothing to me. Enough of the philosophy. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're not going to draw any money out of the NIDIP account because we have sufficient cash in our main account to cover it. If we go short, we can put up 50000 or however much the money was out of NIDIP. Okay, are there any pending purchase orders that need to be reviewed? Candidates for moderator. The district posted notice that we were looking for a moderator to fill a vacancy. <coughs> it is within our authority to appoint one. Are there any members of the audience who are interested in being a moderator? Ken, Ken sure. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone else? No? Well, it looks like a one horse race. We didn't receive any notification in our email account about it, so I guess, Ken, you're it. I will make a motion to appoint Ken Shorey to fill the vacancy of moderator until the next annual meeting of the district. Second. Yeah. Aye. Aye. It is unanimous. Mr. Shorey. How much does it pay? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of five dollars. <laughs> However, it's a good question to ask though. <laughs> you need to fill out the oath of office. All right. If you have difficulty, get out your glasses for something. I got a pen down. I know we like the rules. You fill out down to here. To date. Okay. Supervisors are allowed to work with the voter checklists, whether it's the district or a municipality. So we will be working with your clerk, Kate Preston, to prepare that. And she will need to have a printed list of all the um, people in the district. And consistent with municipalities, everyone in the district.
who lives in the district and receives benefit of the water and sewer services. And our registered voters. Are re and registered voters are qualified to vote. They don't have to be paying the bill to vote. They have to be living in an address that has water and sewer services. So I wanted to put clarification on that. And also, also renters. 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 Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why we're going to check out our list. You have one set of names. We have another. And our list will qualify who those people are. Right. Uh, and I want a little clarification on your appointing a moderator who will serve in this capacity this year and then again next year. Now I do understand the notion of a one-year appointment, but the moderators, moderators are elected on even year cycle for two-year terms, so I'm just curious about how we're going to get on cycle with that. Is this another district oddity? Well, no, actually, moderators serve one year in the district. Okay. My reading of moderators in municipal law, in state law, is that they are, they are voted in by the voters on even years. So I will see if I can get some clarification on that. Because if this person, if Ken is appointed for a year, then we're, that's going to be an odd year next year when it comes to the election. Okay. I, I think you're going to discover that, again, RSA 670 is the ruling. I don't know when did three different times. Yeah. Because. I was looking for clarification on that, and I couldn't find a difference between municipalities and, and districts on that, but I will get some clarification. I would almost suggest the municipal association, because I believe that they are more quicker to respond. And I like the Secretary of State's office myself. Okay. Uh, and I just to, to be clear about the positions that are being voted, yeah. treasurers and clerks are also for a year, is that yes. correct? Yeah. So those are all vacant positions? <coughs> those are both? The, they're up for election. Up for re-election, yeah. okay. There's a one-year vacancy, <coughs> one, a commissioner, to fill a one-year term and a commissioner to term, fill a three-year term? Correct. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And my last one was about the moderator, but I won't repeat that because I just kind of yes, explained that, that moderate, my understanding of it. Well, we have, but it's changed since then. I, I don't think so. I don't know. I was asking. I read through RSA 1670 and didn't say anything about that. And may I also offer to Mr. Shorey the services of the town moderator, Charlie Putnam, who would be happy to meet and help with getting acquainted with the Can process. Has there been a moderator before? Not at the town meeting, but I've been a president of the Federal Managers Association for four years. I was a commander of the Post 47 for four years and filled in many times at running meetings. So. Understood that. And a fully respectable resume to bring to this process. Town moderator is a very specialized kind of role for which there is some good uh, parameters to, to follow. Okay. So, Mr. Putnam would be happy to serve in that capacity as a trainer. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner. Yes, Allison. Um, I have a few questions about the important dates that you um, had. Yeah. Up to the agenda. Um, so you have the dates for people that were filing for declarations of candidacy. It um, says. Yeah, January 29th to February 7th. Okay, so, okay, with the district clerk. Now I was wondering, um, is there an email address or a way, I, obviously I know how to get in contact with Kate, but others, how would they get in contact with Kate? Because now I... Heather well, has the clerk email address, so. Well, the clerk receives the applications for office, for candidacy. But like the town, if you walk in and the tax collector is there, they'll give you the form. Okay, so as there will be forms at the district the office for people to come and yes. pick up. Okay, thank yes. you. Um, and then, let's see. I didn't see, is there a date on here for a deadline for petition warrant articles? Um, yes, there is. I see February 11th. Okay, where does it say that? Tuesday, February 11th, 
Congress. The last day for 25 or more voters or 2% of these uh, third paragraph down. Oh, okay, the dates aren't in order. Okay, thank you. Well, they're sort of in order. Well, then it goes to February 3rd, so. Um, okay. And then um, it says voters may register at the polls on election day. Yes. Um, so what? Do they need to bring to the polls? To, you know, supervisors of the checklist determine. Well, actually, it's state law what they have to bring to the supervisors of the checklist. <coughs> I'm glad to clarify it for you. Um, for those that might want to register to vote at the polls on election day, um, what would they need to have in hand? The license, and uh, if not that, um, a picture ID, a okay. qualified picture ID, a valid picture ID. And do those um, include that they live where they Well, I guess I might say that on there. If that isn't on their license, they would have to bring something with them like a utility bill. Something that pins them to that location. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Um, yeah, a couple other things. Um, so for the treasurer duties, how it's my treasurer duties have changed, you know, after changed course a bit here. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to request, I know with my um, monthly account reconciliations now, I can't do it in the system and I will be doing it differently. I wanted to request that you give me the report in an electronic version um, in Excel, please. Thank you. Yes. Email that to me yes. um, at the end of each month. Thank you. Also, um, in the RSA 4129 that you gave to me, yeah. it says the treasurer shall ensure that all monies remitted shall be deposited um, at least on a weekly basis. Um, so I wanted to talk through that process or just to make sure. I mean, I had assumed that Heather would be doing the deposits, but then when I was there the other day, you apparently took, you were going to the bank, so that yeah. you. I'm not comfortable with that as the treasurer. If it's my duty to ensure that the money is being deposited, I don't want it to be whoever happens to be at the office that's going to the bank that day. I'm not okay with that. Okay, then you're going to have to basically check with Heather to see if there's a deposit ready. If you want, you want I'm not saying it has to be me. I want it to be Heather, is what I'm saying. I'm not comfortable with if one of you happens to be down there grabbing the checks to then go <clears throat> deposit them. Well, um, it's. I mean, it's. If we're going by the RSAs, and that's what I was given. Okay, I understand week. that. Okay. As town treasurer, mm -hmm. I have never deposited a dime. I don't want to be the depositor. I'm saying I want it to be one set person, not whomever happens to be there driving by the bank that day. Well, the town, Carolyn does deposit sometimes. The town clerk does deposit sometimes. But this is saying that it's up to me to decide. As the treasurer, I need to ensure. So that's that not exactly, okay. exactly. And I'm comfortable with it being Heather. Okay. I'm not comfortable with it being whomever is at the district office that day driving okay. to the bank. All right. Thank you. Okay. And then my last question is: Are you going to stop having our paychecks delivered to your friends' houses? As soon as we find a method for securing delivery, we will, well, as it's soon as we find a method. It is not appropriate for it to be delivered to a we random district member's house. We can never deliver to the police house. station. Pardon? We can never deliver Please do. Please do. I do okay. not want my personal information. That's an option. Pardon? That's an option. We can have it delivered. I would like that. And okay. I would like to see a confirmation email that states that is where it's being delivered. Uh, well, I think this is a matter of governance, so we will find a solution. I want to see proof that it is being followed. You don't need with. proof. You don't have anything to do with payroll. I have something to do with my paycheck getting sent to a random person's house and that they could look through the packet of information. Yes, I'm going to just mail She's got an address. I'm to her address. You, do you want your confirmation stub? mail to you personally? Sure. Okay. But I'm also not comfortable with the entire payroll packet going to a random person's house. Well, it's not appropriate. We'll, we will find a solution for that, including putting a box at the gate to receive it. It can't be a post office box, though, because the courier will not put it in what looks like a P.O. box. 
Okay, I want it figured out by the next payroll. I'm not comfortable with the way that it happened last time. And okay. It's not appropriate. Okay. Yes? What day of the week does it get delivered? It gets delivered usually on a Wednesday. Is there a reason why it can't be done at the town hall? I don't know. I don't see any reason why it couldn't be. I mean, we have staff there. And you have a payroll courier that delivers to you. A payroll courier. It is the right. same person. There's not a guy going to the town hall. You, okay. So. I mean, I, I cannot see a reason why we wouldn't accept it on the behalf of the Sierra Water. You can come and get it. Okay. Clearly, right. I mean, or whoever needs to come and get it. I mean, that's a board member, I wouldn't have a problem Thank with you. it. Is that acceptable to you? Yeah, it, it, okay, it went to the town, direct, that would be wonderful. Okay, we will direct paychecks to deliver to the town hall along with the town hall's pay, payroll. That works? Mm -hmm. Okay. As long as they stay separated. Well, they, they always come to separate okay. envelopes. Okay. Yours is much thicker than our school pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everybody gets direct deposit, so it's not like there's actually checks in there. So. Okay. Anything else? Well, can I make one more comment on that? Sure. Though? Would someone come and pick them up? Yes. We're not going to be distri distributing them, yes. right? And someone will no, 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 no. No, no. no we're just picking up the package, no, no. and that's it. Okay. No. Thank you. Someone will come and pick up the envelope, yep. sealed envelope, yep. and take it to the district. Okay. For I'll, I'll notify the staff. Okay. The only problem, possibly, though, is that if it is on a Wednesday, then the town hall closes at 1, and what if it's after 1 o'clock that they're... The courier never makes it. They are always there early. Well, Carolyn's there. Okay. And I, I believe Chuck is, but I could get that verified. Okay. But, um, yeah, we'll, I think we'll make it work. Thank you. I appreciate it. If we have to get ours, and it's coming to the same Well, right. Yeah. It's just scrambled. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments? Anything from the commissioners that you want to add? Um, yeah. Um, when you started your hot to trot on me finding you, us finding you, a person to work with, have you started him yet? He started tomorrow morning. Starting tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay. Good. So he We're starts tomorrow. About Dan. Okay. Yeah, all right. He started <coughs> right. Did I get that right? He's going to start tomorrow morning? Because I thought he was that, starting Monday. That was our discussion today. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. He's going to start tomorrow morning. Full. You know, doing his regular hours. All right. Doing his regular hours. Um, one other thing. When you, there was something went on the other day or last week, you were in Connecticut or something. Did you take a leave slip day on that? I did. Yeah, I took two vacation days. Yeah. And your vacation was on a slip too, correct? So we're we're going to have to go over how we're doing payroll now because the way that it's been working was through myself and Allison. Now with Heather, or I'm not sure somebody grabbed the uh, time card's last payroll. That was me. Yeah, so I mean I would notate it on a time card. I have a spreadsheet that I enter everybody's time into, and I would enter my time that I take off accordingly. Okay, can you share that with Heather because she needs to know that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, great, thanks. Hey. Hey. What? Clint. What do you want? I'd like to add some heat to the situation. I'll go ahead. Go, please. I've done a plant today and I was talking to Raymond. The low level of the pump room, cold, water humidity, and whatnot in there. You try to paint on the epoxy based paints. It's already slow drying. It's, it's, it's a pain in the butt. You should have some heat in there. Uh, we looked for an opening. There's an opening uh, by the vent that comes down through the floor. And we're talking about putting another mode in at a low level. Okay. Hot water. Instead of electric. So I, I've asked Ray to get a hold of the guy about getting an estimate of what it's going to cost us to do that, so you know where, where, where what's going on. What kind of what kind of heat are we looking for? It's just a motor heat. It's, it's a hot water force with a fan. Force salt. Force salt water? Force salt water, yeah. Not electric. Yeah, okay. That that was in what's the venting? Gas? No, no, no. Gas? Vent. Wall vent? No, no. It's going to come off the old furnace. Oh, our own first. It's going to be a little. Yeah. Okay. You're going to have a in the upper level yeah. coming off the furnace. When it went down as well, 
Because that's, that's, that's a good idea because that one's called the damp the last yeah. one. Well, the, one 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 the day you met uh, Dan, I took him down there to show him what was there and I noticed it then. So, so <clears throat> Clown Performance, Plumbing and Heating, come up, they can come out at 10 o'clock on Friday morning if you're available. 10 o'clock Friday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Were they talking price wise? Right That's what they're coming to look at. It, it can't be that much because it's it's basically just a radiator with a fan on it. There'll be an electrical connection and a thermostat connection. They're not that complicated. They're just like basically a shop type thing. Yeah. yeah. That was promoting that. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you put in one of those um, wall mounted um, high efficiency force saw water. Oh, no, 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 not down there. <laughs> not down there. It'd be gone in six months. <clears throat> that it? Any other comments? Questions? Then I will make a motion at 7.10 p.m. Next meeting. Next meeting. Oh, the next meeting, I believe, pending... Confirmation from the Legion. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. okay. But that's tentative. We have assigned it. Okay. Do this also here. Uh, clear. All right. Menu. Uh, that's what happens when you have an ancient phone. The second Wednesday of February is the 12th, and tentatively, until I get confirmation from the Legion, there will be two hearings that night next door. One will be the Budget Committee's review of the district's budget, that's the Budget Committee's meeting, and then after that, there will be a hearing on the borrowing for Willie Street and other items for about $200,000. So there's going to be two hearings that night. Okay, that'll be the 12th. 6.30 p.m. is the first 6.30, uh, attentively, and we will post, and you know, actually the one for the 12th actually has to be published in the newspaper. So it'll be there too. Um, and then the next one would be the 26th. That would be a regular meeting.